Hello, delicious taco army. I hope you are feeling particularly crunchy today. Uh, so I have a new computer. That's cool. Uh, it's time to say goodbye to my old one, which really hurts because I think, you know, being on YouTube and stuff, like first YouTube video made was filmed on this and it was all edited on this and so far everything has been on this computer so it's it's kind of hard to say goodbye but it is time to say goodbye because when i'm playing games and it drops you out of all your servers um and when you're trying to edit a video and it just keeps on cutting out it's uh, you really outlived your function also dude i'm having like this weird hair day where it's either going straight up jimmy neutron style or it's like really flat i think i'm gonna keep it flat for the video just for sake of nothing else other than keeping it in frame. Today's video is not about hair or computers, actually. It's about fashion problems, or I should say problems in the fashion community. So here's my problem. I like to sew. I'm just gonna come out and say I like sewing, I like knitting. I never was a fan of crochet, honestly. Um, didn't suit me. So I found myself with an abundance of material suddenly because I found that I have some old dress shirts that don't fit anymore as well as some jeans and I was looking for a project to do with the extra denim and the extra cotton from all these nice dress shirts. So I did what you do when you have a question and you need to go to the one place where that question can be answered. So I googled uh, what to do with old dress shirts and I found some interesting results. I found how to make a pillow out of a dress shirt and then this one moved. This is funny for a reason that you're not thinking it is. How to turn a men's flannel dress shirt into a clubbing dress via like this little wraparound thing. This post was popular on Tumblr a while back. What I thought was funny about it is flannel is not a dress shirt. It's a flannel shirt. It's not a dress shirt, but that's a whole nother video right there. So. So remember from the story, I have some jeans I haven't done. Well, I looked up what to do with the jeans, and it was turn them into booty shorts. Tempting, but no, I think not. Alternatively, turn them into a two-piece bathing suit. Again, not really feeling it. And so what was surprising to me was that every time I typed in uh, recycled dress shirt or jeans or upcycled, it would constantly give me results for the female crafter. How to make aprons, and how to make uh, pillowcases, and how to make clubbing dresses. <laughs> like I said before, that was a wild one. And it got me a little bit mad, because even when I typed in for men, it was things that you can sew to make yourself look good for your man. Which is a phrase that I altogether don't like, but again, off topic. And it's really difficult, I think, to cater to the guy who likes to sew's needs. It says I'm not plugged in, but I swore I plugged this thing in. Oh, it's not plugged in. And that is just really aggravating to me. I think it's a niche that isn't fully developed. There's lots of knits for women and knits for girls and knits for teens. But if you go into something like knits for men, it's knits for men, not knitting for men. I was trying to find something geeky to work into my everyday work attire because honestly, this gets a little bit boring after a while. But I just couldn't find anything. For example, I typed in casual steampunk, trying to find ways to work steampunk accessories into what I would wear normally, which is button-down shirt tie, trying to work something cool into that. And what I got was 15 ways to do a blouse, 25 pairs of shoes, all women's, that were very steampunk. How to do laces and ties and chokers and bodices and um, corsets, and none of it was centered towards men. So then when I type in for men, you either get take a tie clip, smash up an old Rolex, and glue the gears to a paper clip, or you got just full-on cosplays of Grease Monkey Tesla coilness. So this rant is basically saying I would appreciate more presence of crafts and outfits towards men because in general it's just kind of the same thing in a different color combination jeans and a t-shirt there's not a whole lot of ways to spice that up and i wish there was i had just turned the computer off i was going to go to the editing program and then i had the idea it's easy it's an easy thing to spice up men's fashion just make us all wear kilts yeah i actually had someone offer to buy me a kilt on the condition that i wear it to the next public event that we were both at <laughs> i wish i hadn't turned them down but i did all right, funny hygiene cover. I don't know. 
it just seems like there's not anything else to make it more exciting when I think that it's a genre or a, a, a hole in people's interest that has not yet been filled completely. And I think someone should get on that right away. Not me, because I'm not actually that good of a sewer, though I like it a lot. So if somebody else could do that, that would be grand. <laughs> Reminds me of a joke. Um, what are uh, Mario's overalls made out of? Denim, denim, denim. My favorite joke at the moment. All right, well, rant over. If you have any ideas on what I could possibly do, please leave it for me in the discussion section below. Tell me, uh, what do you thought of this new camera? I hope you've been having a particularly crunchy day, Talco Army. And now it's time for that brand new intro graphic that I made to, to roll here. Okay, see you guys later. I'm going to go rewatch Sherlock Season 3, Episode 2.